This laser seems to be kind of faulty because it's clicking. It's not, it's not really supposed to click, so if I turn it around, it's spamming X, as you can see. Now it started, after like four or five clicks of the laser. I've also got the door off, so the the metal door's right there. But, uh, yeah, so... If I turn around, screen's black. But power's on, screen's black. This is what it says, I can't click the home button. What about if I take the disc out? Which I'm going to do now. Took out the disc. Nothing. So, uh, I just... The game cannot be started. That's normally what it said, isn't it? So, um, I'm just going to go put the disc back in. Here we go. Oh yeah, before I do, you see the switch right there, yeah? If I press that down, I can make it indicate. But yeah, that's normally, oh my god, that laser lens. <laughs> that is perfect. It looks kind of purpley on the phone, but in real life, it's red. But, uh... Yeah, so if I go ahead and put in a disc, and this that's Spider-Man 2, <laughs> I go put in this disc, and this motor right here, this, 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 yes, this shiny piece is a motor, this motor drives the laser back and forward, so if I move the laser over here, and I just moved it all the way to the side, if I put a disc in there, it's going to start from there, and it's going to move it all the way, until... See what I mean? So that's so that's the motor that drives it. Cause I've opened the PSP and I've, I've seen how it works. It works kind of like a old style game disc console. Basically, what it does, cause this thing has no, cause this thing has no like worm gear motor. It's only got the motor that drives the gears for the worm gear. So that's the uh, the worm gear gear right is right there. If I focus the camera, focus. It won't focus. Honestly. Focus! It won't focus. It's not focusing. But right in that little opening, you can kind of see a gear where I'm shining the light. Yeah, that. That gear right in there. Where I'm pointing my finger. So that's, so that's a gear. Now, this wiggly thing here that controls the laser, this is called a worm gear. So this right here is, is a worm gear. This is the laser lens, which you can move around on a PS4. Of, of course you could do that, because it's more secure on the PS4. And if you do see a bit of wet stuff, it's because I drenched the PSP in oil. So now, if you look at the shiny-ass piece of plastic, this black shiny piece of plastic right there, which the laser's sitting on, that's really shiny, because I oiled it up. And I've oiled up most of the parts that the laser moves on, and I haven't oiled up the motor. Okay, um, uh, I'm recording on my phone so they can't hear you, but yeah, um, so as you can see, probably can't see so well, but that switch right there, if I flick it, oh, well, not really flick it, but if I press it, oh my god, I don't know why it's showing us purpley red, if I put a game in there. Got this um that on the screen if I click circle. Um so it kind of clicks a little bit the laser. I don't know what's going on with the laser, it's just clicking all the time. I remember this one time where the laser fully just kept clicking and it just wouldn't read the disc. Or sometimes the laser was so faulty that the bit inside just could not even recognise the disc. It literally thought it was there was no disc in the thing. And then it made it was it was basically doing this. So pretend the disc was spinning on the motor. I don't know why that just did that. And the lens will keep going back and forth. Like like that. It kept doing that on the disc. Yeah? But then, as soon as I put it on. Hold on. It kept focusing in and focusing out. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to take it out now. So... Yeah, um, that's really, that's basically the disc drive of uh, the PSP. This spring right here, 
You can't see it as well, but it's quite, it's kind of dangerous actually. That spring is just for the actual door. It's not for this metal door. This metal door was a piece of that. But what I was doing, I was opening the PSP and then one piece broke off at the end of the PSP. So then all I'm left with is this metal door. And if this metal door comes off, all I have to do is I have to find that right there and that right there. And kind of join up with this hole, this hole right here. And the same thing on the other side. It's kind of bent this one because I've kind of forced it a little bit. But if I do put it on, which I might fail. Hold on, Jamie. Hey, I got I got the door on first try as well. My God. So as you heard that that click was that. So so this little thing that pushes the disc out. So now as you can see, I have it all the way back. But as soon as I put it in, it clicks. And as soon as I take it out does that so you know pretty great mechanism here um now obviously before when the door when the plastic door used to be on i could i could only open it until this much but without that if i take this off i know i just had to slide it out like that so now i could just get full access from any angle to the disk drive and i could i could see where the problem is so i mean if, the, if the, just saying if, if there is any problem so I'm gonna just get this door back on. It's quite, it's kind of tricky, you know. Kind of, uh, how do I say? It? Like another word for, uh, kind of fiddly. <sighs> Can't get it on. Sometimes I do bend some parts, but mm, not my fault. The part that's bendy. It's just, uh, it's just the PSP, you know. It's from 2004. I'm pretty sure. Um, some of the PSP games are from 2009, which was probably the last year. Of the PSP, but um, yeah, so I thought I got the door on, but I didn't. Hold on, it will this better. This video will be better with flash, but yeah. Oh, wait, oh, sounds good. It's good. On, hold on, it's quite tricky. I'm gonna match the other side until. <sighs> oh, come on! Stop being so fiddly! Oh my god, I'm literally gonna bend this piece of metal if it doesn't listen to me. Oh my god! It won't listen to me! Listen to me, you piece of metal. Bend the wood. No, I mean, not bend. Listen to me! You little bent idiot, bent retard. Doesn't mean that I could be retarded, but uh, yeah. But you know, if I quickly, my PS4 is about to turn off. So all, all I have to do is shake the controller, and I'll wake back up. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.